Hello guys, today I wanted to share with you uh, the Balenciaga Lady bag. This is in one of the smallest uh, sizes and this bag was released in 2013. So it's not a new bag. It was not a big, super big hit, even though uh, it was the first design by Alexander Wang when he was working as a creative director in Balenciaga. So this was his first bag for the brand and I just find it super simple, elegant and very sleek. Uh, I don't think anybody would think this is a Balenciaga bag uh, because it's so beautiful but simple and it's a very structured bag so uh, it may look maybe quite formal, but I find that it goes well also with my casual wear. Uh, I wanted to share with you because I know that uh, I share with you many handbags and some of them are pretty expensive uh, because they are modern uh, and you know, uh, these days uh, the current prices are crazy high. But I wanted to uh, hopefully with this video and with my channel, I can inspire you to, you know, venture out of the regular brands that are everywhere in social media. And you can find very beautiful uh, designs uh, that can, you know, you can enjoy and you can, you can carry them and you can give them much love, but uh, you don't have to break the bank. So this is a very clear example. And that's the reason uh, why I'm sharing with you. Uh, this is a bag that I love. I've been looking for one for a very long time. And uh, that's that's only the reason why I'm sharing. So this bag is called Lady because number 10 in French. And this is the number of the regional Balenciaga um, store in France, in Paris. And I like it because it has mixed uh, metals, uh, palladium and gold. So along the back, you will see the strap is palladium, but uh, the handle has some gold. So if you're looking for a bag that, you know, has mixed metals, uh, this is a bag for you. Now it's not heavy at all and it's very structured, but very, very sleek. So this is how it looks from the back. And this little thing, this, in the front is uh, a mirror. You can just also, if it bothers you when you open the, the flap, you can just turn it, turn it around. I just think it's lovely. And it comes in uh, different, different colors. You can find it in uh, military green, in uh, navy blue, in gray, in blush pink. This is, this is tan. I'm not sure if the color is coming out uh, correct because it's a bit cloudy here in, in Shanghai today. But it's a beautiful gold, smooth calfskin. And as you can see, uh, it comes with the strap, which is detachable and also adjustable. But uh, I don't think, at least in my in my body frame, uh, I will try to do mud shots later. It does not cross body, but it's a very comfortable um, shoulder carry. Now, when you open it, you just pull the metal up and then just open the flap. And the interior is a beautiful black, um, smooth leather. So it's an old leather bag. It has one pocket. It came with all the documents and the tags from Balenciaga. And then it has two slip pockets. Despite it's very generous and it's very comfortable to open, as you can see, uh, the only issue is that you see when I open, I try to scratch uh, the strap. I have very short nails. Uh, that's my style. But I can understand why the previous owner has some crutches here because when you're gonna open it, then the flap is just you're fighting with the flap, right? So that's one of the of the issues. Another point and another reason why, as you can see, mine has. I want to show you the scratches. You can see the scratches, especially around the turn lock, and this is because when you are going to, you know, when you are going to close it. Here is okay because the back is in front of me, but when you're carrying the back and you're fighting in order to find 
uh, the clasp and to, to adjust the, the clasp to, to turn it around, to, to close it, then when you pull it, your nails are touching, are scratching the leather. So that's the reason why you will see that most of the scratches are around uh, the log area. Now, I don't mind scratches. Um, I think that this bag still has a lot of life to enjoy. I don't mind it, especially because the price is much better because of those scratches. People are just as scared of the leather being scratched. And I totally get it, I understand it, but to me, it's not something, um, you know, it's not terrible because most people, they just look at you when you're carrying the bag like this. They are not going to inspect and tell you, oh, you have your, your handbag scratched. You know, it's only you that you know. So, Balenciaga Paris, you can see it's very minimal. You just really have to look at it to find the logo. So this is the perfect bag to carry for work. This is in the smaller size, uh, which is around 20 centimeters width. But bear in mind that because it has this shape, you cannot put many things at the top of the back. So no matter, it seems quite high. Basically, you only have one level for the back. Now I'm going to show you what I carry because I carry this to work. So again, I just pull and open another point that I, I want to uh, tell you because of the design of the bag you will see every time you open the the flap it's going to crease that's totally normal and unavoidable so also you have to consider that the bigger the bag is um, the heavier so therefore it will be easier to lose the structure this bag comes in a bigger size, which I believe is around 33 centimeters width and a little bit taller and uh, even a bigger one. So I believe uh, you can carry a laptop uh, and really it's like a briefcase. It's very beautiful, but bear in mind that the bigger you go, the more structure problems you will see. So uh, if you're looking for this bag on the pre in the pre-love market, uh, take care of the crease. If that's something that bothers you, pay attention to that. Also pay attention to the creasing of the glazing. Now in, in my bag, you will see glazing cracking here, which is totally fine for me, acceptable. This is not a new bag. And maybe a little bit over here, some peeling. Also, um, when you open the back, this is the place where you have more, uh, more weight. So, you know, you have to inspect these stitches very well. Make sure that they are there. They're not broken. But as you can see, you see here, the glazing is cracking. That is totally uh, normal. But if it bothers you, again, um, you know, it's unavoidable. And when I say if it bothers you, then maybe this is not the bag for you. I'm not saying this bag is going to be for everybody. Sometimes I love a bag design, but I know where the problems are going to be. And to me, it's something that I cannot stand. I cannot bear. So I pass on the bag, even though I love the design. In this case, that doesn't bother me. So I can live with it perfectly. Now, this bag comes in different colors and different different styles because uh, the first ones don't come with the handle which I think it is very useful to make this bag very versatile so I highly recommend you to get uh, the one with the handle you will see some designs that are like uh, maybe half of this so they are like more um, like a vertical bag you know so it's like half of this bag with a small handle and a strap, which is also very cute. It comes in black, it comes in navy, it comes in gray, it, it comes in uh, blush pink, it comes in uh, military green. It comes with a very beautiful, nice marble. For me personally, the marble is not for me. Um,
marble to me is from nature so uh, I don't like imitation like for example I don't like flooring that is not wood but it's trying to be like wood I don't like that is if I cannot afford wood flooring then I will prefer tiling which is okay but I don't want to have you know like vinyl flooring just resembling something that they're not i pass on the marble even though i it's, it's something very unique on the style so i can totally understand why some people would love it i chose the this would be like the mini size and it's not a mini bag at all because it can fit a ton of things inside i will show you in a minute um so this is the smallest that they made i think they also have like a clutch or like a pouch uh, and this bag retailed uh, back then in 2013 at around uh, maybe 1,600 USD. I got it for around 400 euros, something like that, in Vestia Collective. Uh, now, I will talk in another video a little bit more about Vestia Collective. I know some people didn't have the best experiences. Uh, from my point of view, I bought mo most of my pre-love bags in Vestia Collective and I had some issues with them about their customer service and about logistics because I live in China but uh, I never had any fakes or any problems with uh, the bags that I received uh, so in that case I cannot complain about uh, the service provided by Vestia Collective so uh, anyway uh, if you see uh, any video of me showing you a bag pre-loved, most likely it's going to be bought from Vestia Collective. You can see that there are many uh, Balenciagas Lidi now at the moment available for a bargain and the different sizes. Also, you have to uh, notice that this style is just like a piece of leather, like I, like I told you, but there's a new style. I believe it's newer than this. This one was released in 2013 maybe uh you know years later this other style came up and it's like it has like a zipper on the top so it has this part of leather but the flap in the flap you will see um a zipper in that case if it bothers you to have this crease i think the one with the zipper is the best solution for you because obviously the zipper will not create such problem because you don't have to be opening the back like this all the time so you just have a zipper on the top and then the whole back opens so um, that's something that I wanted to share with you also it comes in bigger sizes which are super beautiful the next size up is around uh, 33 centimeters width and I believe they have even a bigger one which looks like a beautiful briefcase and I just think this bag to work to to go to work is just amazing because it doesn't scream luxury bag but it's just very sleek and very refined very elegant and minimal you know so I really love this design it comes with feet so it is protected at the bottom I love feet in my bags especially if they're structured like this one and what else can I say? Uh, I really like it and I really love the tan color. Oh, let me show you. So I open and let me show you what I will fit in the back. So again, in every video I show you the same because that's the reality. I'm very boring and I always use my pouch and I use my AirPods. That's the only thing that I need to carry in my bag. Uh, I carry my phone on uh, my hand all the time, but it could also fit in this bag for sure. So those two can fit properly and you can still have some room for tissues or uh, a bit more. So that's how it looks. Again, here you could fit, you know, glasses, you could fit tissues, um, you know, anything that you want. It still has more space, but is what I told you. Don't, you cannot put things on top because then the flap will not close so you just need the room and it's not heavy at all 
another thing is because this is a uh, very smooth cup skin depending if you don't have a pouch like i do depending on, on what you carry it can um create this um how can you say it can it can poke the leather in the front so be also very careful of that this is the back and that's it that's all i wanted to share with you um like i said i've been loving this bag for a very long time i could not find one in the color and the measurements that i wanted i chose this smaller size because i knew that even though it is the smallest is still big enough um and i can carry my essentials and also the smaller it is the less problem areas because the bigger the bag are uh, usually you know more problems with the structure and usually you will see as i told you the problems are the crease in the front if it's a smooth leather um then you will have scratches around um uh, the clasp the glazing just check the glazing when you get the bag or you know ask pictures before you get it and usually also this is a stressing point this this side of here usually you will see more creases but again this one doesn't have many because it's a smaller bag but if you go for the bigger one just pay attention to those areas the metal i just love it i think it's a very good idea to have this kind of it's like I don't know the design is like it's it has some scratching the metal is just on this way but it's very nice because it's you know it uh, disguises the, the real scratches and the one in the front is just uh, a sleek uh, smooth uh, silver and you can see there you can see the scratches so this kind of um, gold metal is a very good idea that was a very good move and maybe that's something that i believe mulberry the mulberry alexa it has a similar problem with this kind of metal it is solved you don't have to worry about the scratches so i think Alec alexander wang was very smart with this uh, with that metal so anyway i hope you liked uh this new bag like i said i always try to you know show you the bags that i really buy for me i'm not buying this bag to you to, to make another video you know i'm pretty bad with my social media i just want to show you bags that are really worth it that you can find for a quarter of the retail price they are still designer bags they're still good good uh quality and you know they're they still have something special around them but nobody's talking about them they are forgotten and onto the next new thing and that's something that i don't like i think great designs deserve second chances and this bag despite what i show you that yes it's not perfect it has some cracking in the glazing and some scratches but you know when i carry this bag i can carry it to work and it's very comfortable it's not heavy um it has a top handle with um the shoulder strap I think it's a very versatile bag and a bag that I personally will enjoy to carry to work uh, as a day bag. So I hope you like this video and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about it, about handbags. If you want to share any comments, uh, please write, chat with me in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.